and Liverpool have spent the most money. Outside the club, that seems to have led to an attitude that Liverpool have to deliver this season. How do your own expectations compare with that? But my own expectations are always pretty high, so uh, make the best of it. <laughs> yeah, get everything out of it, um, try really to reach the highest and all that stuff. That's my, that's always my, my expectations. It didn't work all the time out, but it's it's good. I think for us it was pretty normal that there will be one point where we spent a bit more money. The last few years we pretty much, as I, I said here, and I had to defend our our our, our um, transfer behavior that we sold more than we um, than we brought in, and um, but that all made sense. We had to we have to create a a squad um, which is strong enough and wide enough to to deal um, to cope with the Premier League and to be as successful as possible and to step by step we come closer. I don't, but if if we are now, um, uh, people ask me that already if it's the best squad we I've ever had or whatever. Um, I don't think about that because it's not about what we have now. It's about what we what we make of it. How how often we deliver, how often we bring ourselves in a in a mood to to fight against all these Premier League teams. They all want to have our points, so that means uh, we have to be ready to fight, and that's it. Obviously, Danny Ings left yesterday. Your thoughts on his move, and also, do you expect any more departures before the window closes elsewhere? Yeah, Danny, what a fantastic person, fantastic um, professional. We we, uh, we miss him already, to be honest. It's not that uh, oh. you, somebody was in a building who opened the door for him and said, "So here's the exit." So it was or the other way around. Um, a lot of people were still hoping yesterday <laughs> that maybe something um, could avoid that transfer. But it's completely normal. Things um, have to go on. It's um, and we will. He has friends here, and will ever have friends here. So that's cool. He's now going back to his um, home club, where, he's, where, where all the way he started, if you want. And um, so that's nice for him. I hope. I'm, I'm, I know he's happy about that. It's cool. He's fully fit. He's in a good shape. How everybody could see after uh, in the in the last game against Torino, the half, the, the 45 minutes he played. It was um, not Danny Ings at its best because nobody knows exactly what that will be. But he showed that he's really in a in a good shape and a good way. So that's nice for him and for Southampton. Um, Any more? Yes. It's uh, the transfer window is only only um, one way is closed pretty much. So we cannot buy or sell, um, or we cannot buy anymore. But we can only sell in uh, not sell anymore in England in the Premier League, I think. And um, so. That's that's the case, but it's clear that few things will happen. And squad wise, how are you looking for this game against West Ham? And thinking the England lads, Jordan and Trent, are they ready for Premier League action? Uh, Dejan Lovren as well. And Fabinho is is he okay? Is he had a niggle in him? Well, his scan was clear. I heard that you all know that he had a scan, so that's um, maybe at one point we can change that as well. I don't know exactly how. Fancy dresses for the players or whatever, bring them in there because it was only a check up. It was clear, but then he came, but he felt ill. Then when he came back, so he was sending home again. I don't know what happened in the scan, but um, no, obviously he was not feeling really well, so we sent him home again. And I didn't see him so far, so I, and I didn't ask anybody, we will see. Um, that's the, that part. What was the other question? Oh. Uh, the England lads and then obviously Dejan after coming back from the World Cup. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, we will see. They're all in a different, in a different shape. If you want, Trent a bit longer in, uh, which is good. Um, Handle in and yeah, full of power, um, but not too long in. You now three, four days or whatever. But it's it's just it's Handle. So um, you always think about him and. Um, yeah, Dian is um, no will not be available for the weekend. I mean, that's, that's that's how it is. Anything else? No, but we'll see. We have to, we have a few. We have not big issues, but the, 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 these little things where we have to think about: Do we take a, it's a, it? Is it a risk or not? And if it's a risk, do we take it or not? And all that stuff. So at the end, we will have. We have I'm pretty sure we'll have a fantastic football team on the pitch, um, and hopefully. Um, I have to make a few decisions. Uh, it looks like in a moment that a few players are not involved, but that's 
What is that? Uh, Ragnar, no, no real chance. Didn't train. Drell did yesterday parts of training. We will see how it, like Joe did. Um, so we will see how, he, how they are today. Um, we, we spoke about money there and the amount that spent. West Ham have spent a good deal as well. It's not always the guarantee of success, though. So what difference does adding Manuel Pellegrini to that equation make? Yeah, one of the very, very successful managers on this planet. Eh? So he, did, uh, he's, uh, he knows how football goes. So it's um, a really good tactician, a really good coach. So that changed, I think, a few things. It's quite difficult if you have the, 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 your, the old team to change everything. But if you can bring in new players with, uh, maybe they already um, know about your ideas, whatever, that change. And if you go through the team of, um, of West Ham, it's uh, Completely different team, or could be a completely different team. It can be on out of which a nine, um, Yamalenko right, um, Anderson left, um, or Chicharito as a striker, then on out of which on one wing or on ten um, behind them, um, Wilcher and Noble or whoever, then the other new fullback in Creswell back, all that stuff that was injured for a long time, but that's just a good football team and that's how it always is. I think they are really ambitious that season, yeah? but if you go in a game like this and it's the first home game of Liverpool and stuff like that, people expect that we that we win. I We expect the same, but we know that between now and then there are 95 brutal minutes and you have to be ready for that and that's, that's how it is, but it's um, easy not to underestimate. Um, um, West Ham, to be honest. So that's a, that's the thing. And on plus, it's the first game of the of the season. Um, Analyze is pretty much not really existing because you see a few preseason games, of course, of of the teams. But then on the other hand side, and then you have to more think. And then you see already, like you ask me, is Hendo in or not? So is Chicharito in or not? And and all this stuff. That's for how it always is. First one, two, three games. It's always like this. So. Um, Good, no problem. I'm still looking forward to it. A new goalkeeper for you in Alisson, who's got a physical presence just when you walk up to him. But what sort of impact do you think or hope he can have both for your team and on the Premier League? Just be a goalkeeper. Be yourself in this case because you're a very calm person, very, very um, laid back during the week, hard and really completely different on the pitch. but. Um, around the pitches like that, that helps. We all know being a Premier League player, you need to tick a few boxes. One of that is in different positions are different things, but as a goalkeeper, it helps if you are um, rather calm than like him. <laughs> oh, sorry, no, you're not, not too energetic. Yeah? So it's, uh, it's about making the right decisions in the right moment. and. Um, and I only want to involve you, sorry. It was the moment when you made this with your eyes. It's boring what I say. Yeah. So, uh, no, all good, all good from that point of view. It's really it's settled really quick. It's in for two weeks, looks like he's in for much longer. And um, so that's all uh, all fine for the moment. Um, Jürgen, of the players who, who were already here and the players that have come back hoping to impress ahead of the new season, um, can you single out, is there one player who's impressed you more and given you something to think about going into the new campaign? I was impressed by a lot of players, to be honest, in the preseason, but for different reasons. So that's how it is. The only problem is if I name it, then, I, then it's more... Yeah. Actually, as a football player, you want to create stories when you score or, 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 um, or, or you win. Um, and not around that. that all is only about expectation. People ask them in two weeks, and how is he doing now? In three weeks, how is he doing now? So, I, I, I'm impressed by. I was really impressed by a lot of players in that preseason, and um, so that's good, because it was. We don't make the preseason too big because it's only the preseason, but we don't want to ignore it as well. And so far, it was good. And for the players who started with us from the first day, they were um, they had a high intensity. Uh, to to deal with and um, they did um, and did a lot of sessions and they did and um, those players who came back later looked like they all did the, the, what they had to do in, the, in in their in their break and so their basis was good so um, no nothing to moan about in the moment but we know it was only preseason and now we have to add 
10, 15, 20 percent in all the different departments, um, attitude, readiness, greed, anger, all that stuff must all come now because all the rest were testing games um, and preseason games and now West Ham is the first comes here and want to have our points so and we have to be ready for that again. And from where Daniel Sturridge was in your thoughts, say last January, have the performances in, in his pre-season persuaded you that he, that he does have a, a future role here at the club? Yeah, of course he is. He's still here <laughs> and he played a good pre-season and he did actually. We could do a lot, um, a, a lot of the sessions to be honest. It was, it was I think one week or so, four or five days when he was out, all the rest he did. Um, we never do the same things with all the players, so there's a specific program for him in that moment, a big program for him in that. That's the same for Daniel, but um, he went. I can't remember a bad game of him in the preseason. To be honest, so that's good. That's absolutely good. And we, I said it a few times. I said it probably 500 times already. Daniel is fit. Nobody doubts Daniel. And I, so I do not. So it's all. It's all good. He's here in a good shape, and hopefully he can bring that in the season as well. Of, of Rafa Camacho and, and Nat Phillips and Curtis Jones emerge at, at a senior level this pre-season. So, even though you, you, you brought players in, how much of a priority is it for you to maintain that that link with with the youth? Very important. So it's really nice to have. This was a brilliant time for them. I'm pretty sure they would not see it differently. They, I think, these three players were part of pretty much all sessions we had. Which is quite uh, impressive to us. 17, 18, okay. Um, that is not that young anymore. Um, but with the other two, it's, it's, it's quite impressive. So that's good. That helped them a lot, 100%. But now it's about dealing with it. It's not about having a good preseason and all this stuff. But we are, we are close. So we, they, they, they know what we expect um, and um, that we really care about them and try to help them. Um, and then at one point, we want to have them in the team. That's how it is. Um, last season, you finished 25 points behind City. Obviously, won the league. What has to be different this season for that gap to close? Oh, I heard more luck. <laughs> <laughs> somebody gave me. Somebody gave me the look. What is luck or look? Uh, yeah, the unlucky team. So. No, um, we have to be more consistent. That's how it is. Um, we know that, and we have to be. Um, yeah, more clinical in the right moments. We have to be more aggressive in the right moments. There's, there's a lot of things. We can improve everything. We can improve our offensive play. We can improve our defensive play. That's all what we have to do. But again, you all ask me about the gap against uh, for City. What, what do we have to do? It not, had nothing to do with City. City had three points from us and we had three points from them. So that's it. We lost them in other games. So win all of them and it's good but it's pretty difficult to do so so because there are not only the big the other big six or whatever it's um, if you see what happens around if you see how Wolverhampton acts how Fulham acts how Everton acts how a lot of clubs um, I don't want to forget anybody but how they how they act they have all ambitious and when we go, can't go there and only because we are Liverpool we win the game there that's that's all really difficult but it's not only difficult for us it's difficult for the other teams as well so and that's all we be, I don't think too much about it how what um, do we have to do in general I thought about it actually for the pre-season but now we have to we have to to be in this championship mode we have to come in a championship mode that we really it's like you you you, you jump in the water and you dive and now let's let's go for it until um, you don't have enough air anymore or oxygen that you have to go up again really really that's the, that's the plan now that we really go for it I know a lot of people think because we were that active in the transfer window and that active in transfer window that's that's all part of the business but that doesn't decide anything because how could we say now how could we say we have to be or we want if we want to be that's clear since ages champion of the league or, or, of England or winning the league but how could we say that with what we, what about United what about the other clubs we are still the champion is Manchester City they didn't lose any player they brought in Mares so that doesn't make them weaker. We saw the game against Chelsea. That was impressive from both sides. Chelsea was in good shape, obviously, after a rather difficult preseason, I would say, and, and City as well. So they have top quality. We are still Rocky Balboa and not Ivan Drago. We cannot be. How? So 
We are the one who have to do more, to fight more, to, to do all, this, all these things. That that's, must be our attitude. In the moment where you only can say your own, but you start disappointing yourself and the people around again. Why should you we know, do that? Come on, boys. But that's again the moment where you only can say your own, but you start disappointing yourself and the people around again. Why should we do that? We didn't reach anything so far. We ran finals. Yes. Do we go to a final again? We should try to win it this time. And in the, in, in the league, it's it's exactly the same. We, we came to Champions League. That was a success, but there was still only to prove without getting Champions we have two two places, uh, three and two. Would be better than four. So that's how it is. And then we can talk. But in a moment, it's it's all it's it's nothing. It's like scientists without trying if really if it really works. We have to be like Rocky. <laughs> Uh, Jürgen, just on that look study, I take it you weren't surprised by the results and do you believe you're due for better fortune this time around? What, 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 again? The look study found you were the unluckiest team in the Premier League last season. I take it you weren't surprised by those results? Oh, I was surprised about the numbers, of course, at 12 points. I'm, I'm not sure that I, uh, um, that I would have thought that, but it felt in a lot of moments last season a bit like that, to be honest, after the season. We didn't care, we didn't think a second about it anymore. It was in the moment where I thought, What's that? Um, but yeah, that's not, nobody gives you anything back in life for that. Huh? So it's um, kind of not even sure. I, I, I didn't understand how they did it, to be honest. They have what they all that, but it looked quite complicated. To explain luck is obviously complicated. How, what I learned is you have deserve luck. So and um, we will work on that. So that we deserve it more, even more than last year. Für mich sowieso. Super, danke. Ähm, Sie haben ja vor ein paar Jahren Mourinho kritisiert, dass er äh, so viel Geld für neue Spieler ausgibt. Jetzt hat Liverpool äh, so viel Geld ausgegeben wie kein anderer Club in der Premier League. Hat sich Ihre Meinung da geändert? Ja, ja. Aber nicht wirklich. Nicht meiner Meinung ist nicht in angepasster Situation. Ich habe damals nicht damit gerechnet, dass das ähm, so schnell ähm, gehen würde oder vielleicht sogar gar nicht damit gerechnet, dass es das passieren würde. Äh, wie jeder weiß, bin ich Schwabe und irgendwie sind wir bei großen Summen eher vorsichtig. Aber ähm, wir haben in der ganzen Zeit, wenn man die letzten Jahre, seit ich hier bin, anguckt, dann ist es einfach so, wir haben immer noch netto viel weniger ausgegeben als, als United, als City sowieso und als viele, viele andere Clubs. So, das, ist, das ist kein Problem, für mich ist das kein Wettrennen oder sonst was. Nur wir haben jetzt die Chance gesehen, unseren Kader zu verbessern und diese Spieler, weil nun mal die Preise in die Höhe gegangen sind, weil Neymar für über 200 gewechselt ist, weil Coutinho für groß Geld, Dembele, ähm, Pape, weil die alle für groß Geld gewechselt sind, sind die Preise einfach haben angezogen. Und da kann man sagen, machen wir nicht mit. Oder man fragt seine Owner, ähm, haben wir die Kohle und dann sagen die ja und dann machen wir es. Und wir sind dadurch jetzt nicht, müssen jetzt nicht ähm, kleinere Brötchen backen oder sonst was, aber wir haben schon ähm, unsere Möglichkeiten diesmal eher ausgereizt als in den letzten Jahren, weil wir davon überzeugt waren, dass diese Spieler die richtigen Spiele für uns sind. Weil Sie ja damals gesagt haben, Sie würden das als Trainer nicht mitmachen. Ja, wenn Geld, nee, ich habe gesagt, wenn Geld alleine über den Erfolg entscheidet, meine ich gesagt zu haben, war auf jeden Fall das, was ich gedacht habe. Und das ist ja nicht der Fall, weil alle Geld haben, entscheidet Geld nicht alleine, sondern es ist einfach nur ein Mittel zum Zweck. Und was 50 Millionen vor vier Jahren waren, ist jetzt ungefähr 150 Millionen. So, das ist der Lauf der Zeit. Ähm, Mourinho hat jetzt gesagt, dass er das ähm, lustig findet, dass Sie äh, jetzt Ihre Meinung so geändert haben und auf einmal das doch machen. Ärgert Sie das? Um Nein, zu gar nicht. Also ich hoffe, dass ich, also ich, meine, ich, sehe, aber bei, ich denke, dass Jose Mourinho ziemlich egal ist, was ich sage. Und mir ist es sehr sicher, sehr egal, was er sagt. Also dementsprechend alles gut. <lacht>